Hi guys, I am back. Did you miss me? I miss you. Or did you even notice <laughs> that I was gone for like a week? Actually, um, I missed my last two uploads. I decided to take um, a bit of a break and I didn't have time to pre-film anything. In my country, we usually celebrate uh, Orthodox Easter. So um, Easter was last weekend. I had some family over and um, yeah, I just spent some time with my family and decided to take it easy and relax. But I'm back now. Are you excited? Because I am. All right, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Carmen. I am a professional makeup artist. And in today's video, I'm going to create a very summery, bronzy, lip-focused look. It's going to be kind of in your face. <laughs> I mean, the lip color, but it's been really gloomy for the past two days. It's been raining a lot and I really feel like I need to create something summery so, you know, I can lift my spirits up a little bit and I can bring the summer into my life and into your lives as well. So, if this sounds good to you, then please keep on watching. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so, so much to me if you would decide subscribing and joining this wonderful family that we have here on this channel. Also, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and if you find it helpful. It also helps me so, so much if you press the like button. All right, without further ado, let's dive in. Let it be known that I am wearing a blouse, okay? It's just, you know, off the shoulders because I thought with the hair and with the earrings, it would go very well. Also with the makeup that I kind of have on my mind. All right, so this being a lip focused look, I'm going to repeat myself. I say this in a lot of my videos, but it's a very good idea, especially if you do a lip focused look to hydrate very well your lips before you actually start applying anything on your face. So your lips, you know, have time to actually get plump and nice and uh, for them to not be dry when you get to the end of the makeup application and um, the lip liner, the lipstick, anything that you're going to apply on your lips, it's going to look so much better. So keep that in mind. So this is the Jouer Essential Lip Repairing Lip Mask. Let me just very quickly get the hair out of the way. I hope I'm not gonna look ridiculous. The question is, do I really want to look like this while I'm like filming a tutorial? I mean, seriously? I mean, it's nothing that you haven't seen, right? Because I kind of look ridiculous when I do this, when my hair in a lot of videos. But you don't care, right? Let's do the makeup. I swear to God, this pimple wasn't so angry when I got up in the morning. I don't know, throughout the day, it just got angrier and angrier. As per usual, I'm going to start with highlighter Elevated Glow by Lisa Eldridge in the shade Crystal Nebula. Yes, I'm using this again. I just bought it and I want to use it a lot. So here we are. I'm just going to apply this on the highest points of my face starting with the tops of my cheekbones. Of course, you know the drill if you have seen any of my other videos. As my foundation, I'm gonna use the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and I have mine in shade Deauville. My usual IT Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush. Something I forgot to mention in the review I did for this foundation is that it smells so weird. Like it has a very unpleasant smell for me personally. I really don't like it. Maybe I should um, take off my earrings. Yeah, so the smell of this foundation is very off-putting for me for some reason. I just feel um, like it has a weird like chemical scent. I don't know. It's, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, so I don't know what is happening exactly with the foundation, but it's doing this weird thing where it's just like separating really, really badly. Like I am, don't know what to say. Like it's really weird. This never happened to me with any foundation in my life. Like here it's making a complete hole. Like it's a hole. It's a hole here. It didn't 
like stick to a portion of my skin here, which is so weird, like so freaking weird. Man, and I, you know, I've actually used this the past few days and it didn't happen with it until now. I don't know what to say. I think I'm gonna go take it off. I'm gonna be back. Should I still use this foundation or should I just use another? Okay, let's try this again. I'm shaking the foundation again. I went, I took the, uh, the foundation off. Washed my face, applied moisturizer, applied again lip mask and the highlighter. And I hope now that the foundation is gonna look better. I don't know what happened. And I also hope that it's not gonna look the same. Okay, so much better. I'm just gonna take the excess foundation off my hand. LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Peach Corrector. I'm just using this to correct the blue and the purple underneath my eyes. I also like to apply it on my eyelids because I have a lot of veins. Next is concealer and I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish in the shade L5. I brought it a little bit more down just because I have that um, pimple that wants to come out. And as usual, I'm also applying it on my eyelids. Can you see the difference? How bright and awake I look on this side. I think what I like most about this concealer is that it stretches so much and it really is high coverage, but it's not too drying. I know with this specific product, you get a less than like a normal concealer. I don't know if it says here on it, let me see get five mil which is um not the standard let me check in another one so i have the lancome here and you get 13 mil with it so it's kind of um yeah it's pretty expensive but at the same time very um little product goes a long way so i don't know it might just justify the price or you know because it's like pat mcgrath and it's uh, very up there with the price. I mean, all of her products are. I'm going to do a little bit of spot concealing and I'm gonna use the Tanti Doll from Lancome. I have mine in the shade 215. I'm gonna start the eye look with MAC Paint Pot in the shade Groundwork. You're already used, right, to the products that I'm using. <laughs> I'm a creature of habit, what can I say? I'm not gonna use a lot. I just want to create a very natural shadow on my eyes. I was just closing the paint pot. That's what you were hearing. And now I'm gonna take a brush. Maybe not this one. Um, I'm gonna apply it by using this flat brush from Zoeva, and I'm taking it from the back of my hand. This is a two, two no, a two three four. I wanted to say a two two five. I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any creases first. So as I said, I'm just gonna use a very light hand. I'm also gonna apply a little bit on my lower lash line. I'm just connected in my outer corner. I'm using now a clean blending brush. This one is from Art Deco and I'm just very softly taking it on the edges of the paint pot. I'm blending everything. I actually think that I'm gonna use the Hourglass Volume 1 Ambient Lighting Palette on the eyes because I just want to add a little bit of a, a natural shine and this is perfect for that. I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to mix this shade with this one in the middle. This is a Hakuhoro J5533. I'm also applying this on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette and I'm just going to apply it in the middle of my uh, eyelid and you see how this just brightened my eyes and um it looks nice it's more beautiful actually in person i'm going to accentuate a little bit the crease and i'm going to use my uh Vise art neutral mattes palette i'm going to take this shade right here i think you already hate me for using this palette so much <laughs> i don't know it's just like the perfect palette for me i cannot recommend this enough so as I said, I'm just going to very softly apply this in the crease. And I'm using the same brush that I've used before. I'm going to do an eyeliner now and I'm gonna use my usual 77 eyeliner gel from Inglot. And I'm just gonna scoop it out with my spatula. 317 brush from Zoeva. Again, as usual, I always like to um, start with my flick.
You know what, for today, I think I'm gonna go all the way across my uh, lash line. I'm gonna make it very thin from um, the middle of my iris towards my inner corner. Thank you. Did you finally focus? Just now, was I out of focus for a long time? Probably. I'm actually gonna bring a bit of uh, the Inglot gel in the inner corner here. And I think I'm gonna do like um, here, the inner V of my eye. Wow, this is very hard to like do this and speak at the same time. So I'm curling my eyelashes real quick. I'm using Fetish Eyes from Pat McGrath. Taking a bit more concealer from the back of my hand, I'm going to just correct underneath my eyes and perfect everything. And now I'm going to set my under eyes. I have here the Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, powder and the shade Vanilla and the refer number 16 brush. Since my forehead is so extremely shiny, I'm gonna use the same brush and just uh, powder the center of my forehead because it's driving me insane. And also here, the sides of my nose. I'm also applying a little bit on my chin. All right, I'm going to do my eyebrows and maybe apply some fake eyelashes just here in the outer corners of my eyes and I'm gonna be right back. All right, I'm back. I did apply some eyelashes, as I said, just here in the outer corners. Did my eyebrows and now I'm going to continue with the rest of the face. I'm going to use a uh, cream contour. I was just looking here for it on my desk. Uh, Match Six from Fenty Beauty in the shade Amber. And I'm gonna use the refer number 17 brush to apply it. I'm taking it from the back of my hand. So I'm using this just to contour, to uh, bring some structure to my face, to bring back the shadows that, you know, have been flattened by applying the foundation. So I'm also using this to contour my nose, the sides of my nose. And of course, I'm gonna use a little bit here just to bring everything together. I'm also going to use a little bit of cream bronzer and this one is the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer from Say Beauty. And if you remember my review on this product, I really, really didn't like it at first. Like seriously, I didn't like it. Yeah, but I, you know, continued try, trying it out and um, it performed much better, but still I cannot say that this is my favorite cream bronzer, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna use it with the refer number 24 brush and I'm just going to warm up my face with it. And when I say it's not my favorite, it's um, because sometimes it blends out really well, really beautifully, but sometimes um, it's like patchy and I don't know. I still like it more than when I first tried it though. I'm also gonna bronze um, here on the bridge of my nose and on the sides of my nose. And of course here, I really need a lot of bronzer, especially for this look, cause it's like a summery look. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of my foundation brush and just make sure that I didn't apply too much product here. And um, I also like to take the side with concealer and just clean up underneath the cheekbone. And then I like to take um, the side where I have used with foundation and just top it like this. And now I'm going to powder the rest of my face. Uh, again, Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder and refer number 19 brush. So I'm staying away from the tops of my cheekbones. I know I'm red right here, but um, I had a pimple that was like healing and when I went to wash my face after I took off the foundation, I mistakenly just took off um, kind of the scab that was here. So it's like a hole and I don't want it to get infected or anything. So I'm just not gonna, you know, fill it with concealer because I'm sure that that's not a good idea. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It actually doesn't bother me. And I also think that it's gonna get covered with the hair anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it. 
I'm also going to use a powder bronzer and I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and the shade bronzer and the Hakuhodo B110 brush. Just gonna take it on the brush like this. And as my blush, I'm gonna use Luminoso from Milani and the refer number 04 brush. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet, I have a review on almost all refer brushes. So I'm just gonna put it here if you're interested, if you wanna see it. I'm also gonna apply blush here and also here. So now I'm just gonna use a tissue and I'm gonna tap my lips with it. I'm just taking the excess lip mask. And now I'm going to use again the matchsticks from Fenty Beauty. Again, I'm going to take it from the back of my hand and I'm gonna use the first brush that I've used with the MAC Paint Pot. And I'm going to use it to contour my lips very softly. So for my lipstick, I'm gonna use this one. This is uh, the Anti-Matter Lipstick from Ila Masca in the shade Flash. If you guys prefer a liquid lipstick, I have here too. This one is from Lime Crime and it says here that's um, the shade number 18. I don't know, it just says 18 and that's it. And I also have this one from Dose of Colors and it's called Pinky Promise. This one is from BH Cosmetics and uh, it's called Playful. I actually think I'm going to apply this all over my lips just to um, make the lipstick a bit more intense. So this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Would you wear this type of a lipstick, of a look in general? I really, really love it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's just perfect for the summer, especially when you have a little bit of a tan, you know? Right now, I don't, <laughs> but I still, I still love it, so... Uh... Yeah, this is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate having you here more than you will ever know. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and if you found it helpful. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye!